Welcome to the Digital Photography Cafe. I'm Trevor Current, your digital marketing guy. And I'm Joseph Christina, your professional photographer. So grab a latte, pull up a chair, and join us as we chat about the art and business of photography. All right, guys, we're back, and we have Joe DeLaSega on the show. And for listeners that are uncertain to who MPix are, which you're representing, give us a little background about MPix. Absolutely. MPix is a, uh, we say MPix is for everyone in that it's a professional lab. Miller's Professional Imaging is actually the flagship of our family of brands. And then uh, we had uh, launched MPix in about 2003 to uh, take care of all the emerging pros and those photographers that were looking into getting pro, uh, into the pro business and uh, wanted an easy and quick online solution. Very nice. Now, you also have uh, MPix Pro, correct? Exactly. You know, when our vision was uh, we had Miller's, and Miller's was the flagship, had everything. And there were so many of the, the new people who were coming in the industry, and they were looking for simple and a relevant uh, solution. With MPix, we had that. But then there came a time when actually the pros that were, we had both pros, advanced amateurs, and those kinds of people in the, in the MPix bucket. And they started saying, hey, we want more products, we want more services, and we want some things that are gonna make us unique in the marketplace. So that kind of was like the gap was so wide between MPix and Miller's that we launched MPix Pro, which gave kind of a nice stepping stone. The difference is, if you're at the MPix, um, the product offering is about two thirds the size of MPix Pro. There's some unique products in there. There's some uh, freight benefits from being that. And we went in with MPix Pro and tried to come in with the most simple and relevant products that a pro could have that would set them aside in, the, in this digital world that we live in. Sure. Nice. So at WPPI, I know there's got to be something that you have that you're highlighting. What is that? Absolutely. Um, over in the, in the, uh, on the trade show floor where we're at, it is just crazy uh, with people. And they're all uh, coming around. Our, uh, our Miller's brand is on one side of the booth, and we have MPix Pro on the other. And it's the papers in the press area. You know, we're printers, and um, that's always been our hallmark is photographic printing. But uh, when you start listening to your customers and you st uh, we'd run our focus groups and have people in, it was the press table that was attracting all the attention. So then you look over at the press area and there's great looking cards, great shapes, but it's such a feel thing. They wanted to say, you know, what are the papers like? So what we did this summer is we came out uh, with three papers, 100% recycled, uh, a premium cotton and a premium bamboo. They all have a great feel, all a very heavy weight, um, all uh, a nice green paper, very eco-friendly. And we're getting a lot of attention. You know, it's, it's still the, the quality of the print, but it's also the tactile feel of the papers. Sure, the they paper complete plays. the deal. Yeah, the paper plays a big part of it. It really does. It really now, does. Are th these are press printed, so they're off set printed? Is it uh, digital printing? It or is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Exactly. And it, it's it's all ink on paper. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Toner based uh, print process. It's not the the uh, you know photographic printing process. It's not the photographic it's definitely process. Press so it's my understanding that your company is first to market letterpress. Exactly. And I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that are thinking like, okay, letterpress. What the heck is letterpress, yeah, right? Starting to hear it a little bit more. Yeah, out it's the, starting out to come out now. there. Okay. Well, yeah, what exactly is letterpress? Exactly. We got the man on the show with the company that's basically cornered the market on letterpress. So let's hear what is what exactly is. Okay. It? Now I felt it here, but they can't they, they can't feel it through the radio. Right. It is so. amazing. <laughs> um, I mean, this is the biggest launch we've had uh, this year, and it uh, letterpress. It is so exciting because uh, the one thing every photographer is looking for is what's going to separate them in the market. Right. And with so many online and consumer solutions, they're always looking for something in that niche. Well, not only then do you have the papers, but if you, as you said, want to take that up one more notch, you go into letterpress. It's funny we did a, a teaser on this on Facebook, and we put it out there, and we kind of gave a few dropped a few little hints and said, hey, guess what it could be? Um, a few people guessed letterpress. The majority of the people put, oh my gosh, it's embossed. It's embossed you know, paper. Um, I think they're all talking about the same thing. Letterpress is, while it's a very uh, age old traditional you know, custom of taking uh, uh, dies and die striking, die striking uh, a card into paper, right. um, we basically take the process, and again, with Photo Lab, it came out with designs that can be uh, die struck and then you add your image uh, you drop the image in but 
So you have you have certain um, letterpress that that you have currently in the in the cycle, let's say that they can pick from. Exactly, exactly. Gotcha. We have uh, eight designs. We went out into the design market uh, and solicited the help of three or four just some outstanding designers, uh, and and uh, got feedback and uh, came out with we think the, the the hottest designs we could get. Yeah, that's very cool. And that, so then the photographer could just take and then insert their image. And text, I'm assuming, too, correct? Exactly. Within your templated You, you uh, got layout. it, yeah. It's, it's totally customizable. And uh, we've, we've shown this uh, to some of, well, a lot of our photographers that helped in the process of building this. And they were like, they're so excited about is that they're looking for a product that is a little bit more expensive. And they always say, you have to have the courage to show an item, you know, whereas maybe a normal card could be, I don't know, you know, a buck quarter for a Lux or an 80 cent for this. This is going to be two dollars and twenty five cent, but you can command a four to five dollar price point. Right. Sure. And at the same time, make a statement about yeah. their their particular studio. Yeah, I mean, just looking at it and feeling it, I tell you what, the rag that it's printed on is unbelievable. It's soft. I mean, it feels like cotton. It's just it's beautiful. And then the actual letter pressing that's on it, you can feel like that embossed. You can texture, feel that yeah. that it's the texture, and it basically elevates the work to the next level because no one else is doing it and if you start doing it and you start showing your work right. like this immediately the people are going to be like oh okay so he's on a different level right and this is definitely pro level stuff i mean this is not something you're going to pick up at walmart you know on, on their kiosk machine so it definitely yeah. takes it to the whole next level it presents you in a much uh, bigger light you know Dred, that that's really a good point because you know in the day and age we're in there are the walmarts there are you know the consumer labs so um photographers must be vigilant in finding products that aren't there. Yes. And and that's what, um, when we talk about our family of labs, one of, you know, one of the things we've just totally um, revamped our whole process and a commitment to is product development. Um, you know, it used to be quality and turnaround and customer service. Uh, we've added two other things to that. Now it uh, you have to have a product component that you're just vigilant on always coming out with new products to help the photographer separate themselves in the market. Sure. And then the last things, which we've taken from Steve Jobs is the whole uh, user experience. I That's mean, it. You UI, know. UI. He is the master, or was the master now? Yeah, right. but I think he's going to uh, a lot of inspiration there for how uh, we have to not settle for yeah. the, the easiest way to do it. And, and so it's not just about having a great product, but it's uh, making it so fun for the for the photographer to be able to go in, get it ordered. It's a great experience. They're delighted when they get it. You know, whether it's packaging or whatever. So, yeah, the customer is really going to like these products too because once they you know if a photographer goes to a meeting with them and they start showing them samples and they get their hands on it and they feel it they're going to look at it and say wow this is this is really something special yeah i like that how much is it oh okay that's great you know and then, and then they're going to get into it a lot more because now they have something tangible if you have it in a book or you try to explain it to them and they can't actually touch and feel it it's going to be a, a harder sell you're, uh, you're exactly right. You've got to. You have to show the product. But you know, just as we're looking at it, as what can we do for a unique product to make our photographer look great? You know, don't think that that person, the end user that gets it, doesn't feel that much better about their Christmas cards or their invitations. I mean, what message does it send when a bride sends out an invitation that has a letterpress card versus just a regular printed card? Sure. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, I tell you what, I'm sure all the listeners' curiosity are pegging off the, <laughs> off the chart. So if they want to go and take a look at the product and see more of what you offer, where can they go? Sure. Uh, the best place to start is, well, the best, the, the place to start for letterpress is at uh, www.millerslab.com. It's millerslab.com. Um, and if you go there, it's a real easy navigation. You hit products and it's called Signature Letterpress. Uh, there's a page that explains all of the details about it. Uh, the one really nice thing is we have a great uh, sample kit for $10. So you can get a booklet that shows all the designs, um, a little card thing to show the different colors, which would be very helpful as they start to build their order, and then a sample card. So that'll be a great too. And actually, we just launched our sample kit a couple days ago, and they're you know, flying off the shelf. So oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that goes back to the whole touch and feel thing. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you've got to feel the product. I would have to encourage everyone listening to definitely for ten bucks grab one of these sample packs because just feeling them. Yeah, they're just like night and day to everything else that's out there. So once again, appreciate you, Joe, being on the show. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you, guys. I appreciate Thanks. it. You we'll bet. Okay.